let's say I wanted to find the shortest distance between a point and a plane. Okay, so let's draw a little diagram so we can visualise exactly what's going on. Here is the plane, and I'm going to look at it side on. And here is the point A. So that's A521. Now, we want to find that shortest distance between the point and the plane. And so, if I was to draw a line between the point and the plane, then they would intersect at right angles, OK, in order for that to be the shortest distance. So I know another, well, I know a vector that will get me uh, in that direction, and that's the normal vector of the plane, and that's 3, 2, minus 1. And so the line that goes from A and through the plane, OK, the line that will do that would have equation, well, the position vector of A, so 5, 2, 1, plus lambda lots of the direction, which is given by the normal vector, 3, 2, minus 1. So that means I can now work out where the line and the plane intersect because that is just uh, what we've seen before, substituting the top, middle, and bottom row into the equation okay, of the plane. So let's do that. I'll just get my calculator at the ready. So I'm going to substitute in, and I'm going to get three lots of x, which is 5 plus 3 lambda, plus two lots of y, which is 2 plus 2 lambda, take away z, so take away 1 minus lambda, and that's all got to be equal to 1. So we're going to get 15 plus 9 lambda plus 4 plus 4 lambda minus 1 plus lambda equals 1, so that's expanding the brackets. We've got 9 lambda plus 4 lambda plus lambda, so that's 14 lambda. 15 plus 4 take away 1, so that's 18. Take 18 from both sides, that gets us minus 17 on the right-hand side. And then I can divide both sides by 14, and so I get minus 17 over 14. So that's lambda. So that allows me to find um, the point, let's call it uh, P, that's on the plane. So I can substitute lambda into the equation of the line to find the coordinates of P. So we've got 5 plus 3 lots of lambda. So 5 plus that times 3. So that gets me uh, 19 over 14. Then we've got 2 plus 2 lots of lambda. So 2 plus that times 2. Uh, which is minus 3 sevenths. And then 1 take away lambda. So 1 take away that is 31 over 14. So that gets me the point on the plane. I, can now, I now need to work out the length of that line, okay, of AP. So if I now work out what AP is, now that's P minus A. So 19 over 14 take away 5 is minus 51 over 14. We've got minus 3 sevenths uh, take away 2, so that's minus 17 over 7. And we've got 31 over 14 take away 1, which is 17 over 14. And I now want to find the length of that vector. OK, so we're going to have... Um, 51 over 14 squared plus 17 over 7 squared plus 17 over 14 squared. And then we square root that and we get 17 over 14 root 14, okay, which is uh, 4.54 to three significant figures, OK? And that is the distance, the shortest distance, between the point 
and the plane. So we used the normal vector of the plane in order to generate an equation that will get me through A and then through this point P. That allowed me to find the coordinates of P and then find the length of the line AP.